Arizona's family is celebrating Hispanic heritage. There was a time we didn't see the representation or voices of Hispanic culture in the news unless it was bad news. I got to sit down with one of the first bilingual on-air reporters in Phoenix who shot to network fame in L.A. before coming back to the Valley to amplify the stories that just weren't being told. Good evening. I was one of the very few brown faces. Hello, I'm Jesus Hernandez. And one of the very few persons who actually surprised a lot of people that I used my name, my original name, Jesus Hernandez. And people are like, what? What did he say? From day one, Jesus Hernandez has been true to his roots and all in on a dream. At one point, my news director wanted me to change my name, wanted to change it to Joe Hernandez. Before he broke into the industry in the early 70s, there were plenty of people who told him he'd never make it, including his professors. I had a real thick accent. They used to tell me, you should go to Spanish radio. Once in a while, I just kind of go through here just to get connected again. He grew up in the barrio in South Phoenix raised by a single mother who came up from Mexico to work farm labor through the Bracero program. It's called El Campito, Barrio El Campito. Yeah, this was my playground right in here. My house was down the street here, so it's uh, a lot of memories here. Poverty for me was always constant, but it was that struggle and that determination that taught me that you can accomplish what you want if you just continue to stay focused on your dream. So after three years with the Army in Vietnam, he came back determined to pay his dues. And I said, I'll do anything, sweep the floors or whatever. He went from radio into promotions, then production and voiceovers before getting his first break as an on-air television reporter. So you gave them not only someone who looks like them on TV, who sounds like them, but who can amplify that voice of a culture that wasn't being given the microphone. Back then, there was a void, and I was one of the very few voices for that community at that time. You could see things others maybe didn't understand or weren't looking for, right? Or don't care. There is a magic that He produced a documentary the on the rich culture in Cuba and traveled to Mexico for the historic first visit from the Pope in 1979. El Papa de la Juventud, El Papa de la Juventud. And I told my producers, they're saying that he's the Pope of the youth, the younger generation. And he says, what do you mean? And uh, we then shifted the focus of the story to talk about that. Jesus put his heart into his storytelling and quickly catapulted to anchor CBS News in Los Angeles. Channel 2's Jesus Hernandez joins us. He came back to his roots in the valley for family. When I got into the industry, I used to take my boys, hey, come on, you got to help me. Both his boys have now worked nearly three decades behind the scenes here at Arizona's family. His oldest, Caesar, is a newscast director. All right, air's off, everybody's rolling. And his youngest, Sergio, is chief photojournalist. It just, I can't tell you how proud I am of what they've done. That pride for his family, his culture, and community at the core of all he does, telling stories for more than 50 years, a passion more than profession that started with a dream. Never be less than the dream and continue to push for that dream, but never be less than that dream. Yeah, Jesus is still at it. He's profiling now the successes of fellow Valley veterans. His son, Caesar, is directing this newscaster right now. His story, Jesus' so, story, one of the many wonderful people we're profiling in a half hour special coming up this weekend. So we hope you'll join us for Arizona's Family Celebrates Hispanic Heritage. It's Saturday night at 930 on CBS 5.